Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to post a quick review of the tools that I've been using for my wood carving. Um, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, you know, what do I need to get started? And surprisingly, um, you don't need much. Um, I, uh, when I first started um, with the idea that I wanted to carve something, um, I kept looking uh, online and, and finding really expensive knives and thought I had to wait to order it, but in actuality, I had what I needed right at home. I had um, this Leatherman that I've had for I don't know how many years, and um, obviously I've used this blade here for many, many things, but whittling wood um, never came to mind. Um, but that's what I used uh, when I first started. Uh, it is, you know, it's got some pluses. Obviously, you probably already have one. <clears throat> um, the blade is super, super sharp. Probably need to. I probably need to sharpen this one, but it's it's still super sharp and it's really good for taking off big chunks of wood. It's not um, great for making small things or or minor details, so I quickly ran into that problem um, with that. But uh, it works and it did uh, did the job. So that's what I used at first, and um, I think uh, the, my first post of a picture is actually of a little man that I created with this guy so that's what I used then I very quickly decided to upgrade to something else and um, went looking around and came across this this guy right here the exacto wood carving knife which uh, in my opinion was excellent um, I, uh, I love the curve um, of the of the blade, it's I don't know if you can see there, but it's a really really thick blade. These things are, are pretty useful. Um, it's five inches, so it fits well in the hand as you're um, as you're carving. Uh, a couple of pluses is you know the with this uh, has this little mechanism up top here where you can actually um, replace um, the blade that's in there. I uh, Unfortunately, the store did not have more of these, so I ended up picking up uh, another pack um, that were rated to go inside of this thing. Um, and I'll show you these here. These are um, not as good as uh, this blade, and I'll explain why. But um, basically, you'll see, parent, uh, the curvature uh, is a huge benefit when carving. This one's a straight blade. It's also... Um, Looks like they may have the same amount of cutting surface, but this one's shorter, um, and also there's a huge difference in the width. I don't know if you can notice that here. Um, and that actually affects when you're trying to carve details and things like that. Like, I, I definitely feel more confident and more comfortable cutting with this larger blade. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a replacement, so you have to go online, so that's kind of a drawback. But all in all, <clears throat> this has been a really uh, useful tool. And then finally... Um, when I'm getting down and getting cut in the details, uh, I keep a leather glove handy. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I'm a new beginner to all of this stuff, so I, uh, I don't know much. I'm learning as I go, so if you have any questions, comments, I'll try to answer them as much as possible. Um, but um, thanks for watching.